Here we're told to find the inverse of the following function. f of x is equal to e to the power of 1.4x minus 2. And we'll do this with the standard technique of finding the inverse. We rewrite the function with the y equals notation. So this is y equals e to the power of 1.4x minus 2. All we've done is replace the function notation with the y notation. And then we switch the x and the y. So wherever there is a y, write an x. Wherever there's an x, write a y. And so that gives us x equals e to the power of 1.4y minus 2. Then we need to take this equation and algebraically solve for y. And when we do, the result will be the inverse of the original function. So to solve this for y, we need to first get rid of this base e exponent. So we're going to get all of this out from this base e exponent. So how do we get rid of a base e exponent? We get rid of a base e exponent with a base e logarithm. And so a base e log is just a natural log. So we take the natural log of each side. So on the left, the natural log of x is just ln x, natural log of x. And on the right, the natural log of e to this will simply be this. A natural log, which is a base e log, will cancel out a base e exponent. So when we do the natural log of e to something, the result is simply that something. So the right side becomes 1.4y minus 2. And then the rest is ordinary algebra. We need to solve this for y. So I'll add 2 to each side. And that gives me the natural log of x plus 2 is equal to 1.4y. And then divide both sides by 1.4. And there the 1.4 cancels out. And you're left with y now isolated algebraically. So y is equal to this. That means that this is the inverse of the original function. So let's write that. f inverse of x is equal to the natural log of x plus 2 over 1.4. Now let's just take a second and look at what's going on here. If you were to plug in a number for x here and calculate a value for the function for a particular value of x, think about the steps that you would have to do. You would multiply by 1.4. Okay. You would take whatever you put in for x, and the first thing you would do would be multiply by 1.4. Then you would subtract 2, okay. and then you would take a base e exponent. You would take an exponent of base e. Okay. Now, the inverse function will reverse all of those steps. If I were to put in a number here for x, and try to calculate the value of the inverse function for that value of x, this is what would happen. I would start off doing the natural log of x, which is the reverse of that step. Then I would add 2, which is the reverse of the subtracting of 2. And then I would divide by 1.4, 1, 1 which would undo the multiplication by 1.4. So all the steps that we would do to calculate the value of this function are undone if we calculate the value of the inverse function. And one more, we're told to find the inverse of this function. f of x is 3 e to the 5x plus 1. So let's rewrite this with the y notation. y equals 3 e to the 5x plus 1. And then we switch x and y. So I'll put an x right here and a y right there. And that gives me x equals 3 e to the power of 5y plus 1. And then I want to take this equation and solve it for y. So I do this with basic algebra. I'll start by subtracting 1 from each side. And that simply gives me x minus 1 is 3 e to the 5y. And then the next move is to divide both sides by 3. And the, the 3's cancel right there. Okay, So then I have 
x minus 1 over 3 is equal to e to the 5y. Now I need to isolate y algebraically, and I have e to the power of this, 5y. So I need to get the 5y out from this exponent position with a base of e. So how do I get rid of a base e exponent? I do that with a base e logarithm. So I'll take the natural log of each side. So when I do that, the natural log of the left side is simply ln of x minus 1 over 3. And the natural log of the right side will cancel out the base e exponent. So I just get 5y. So natural log of x minus 1 over 3 is equal to 5y. And then the last step will be to get rid of the, the 5. So I'll divide both sides by 5. And here the 5s cancel out, and I'm left with y is equal to this. So this is the answer. Right here, this is the inverse of the original function. So I'm going to write it like that with the inverse notation. f inverse of x is equal to, and instead of this division by 5, which basically gives me a complex fraction here, I'm just going to write that as 1 fifth, 1 fifth of the natural log of x minus 1 over 3. That is the inverse of my original function.